Hey, Shalom, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh. Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashim, Rakakadash. All praises and glory to you, Heavenly Father. All praises. I'm going to make this real quick. You know, the spirit of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. <sighs> Second Ezra, chapter six. Think around the verse twenty down. It says the truth as it was hidden for so long, now it's being brought to the light. You know, and um, we living at the time where you know our enemy Esau Edom is being exposed. We're living in a time where the Lord has waken up the prophets, you know, to go out and proclaim the victory, to proclaim that we are the Israelites. And what I got right here, it's an old Bible. It's real big, it's thick. You know, I had it for almost a year, you know, throughout the years. It's kind of old, it's, you know, it's messing up. And I got my fingers in here because I want to show you, brother, something. To the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. And, um, you know, this, this old Bible, um, it, um, and I'm still going through it. It's very interesting. This is an old Bible. I think it was um, published around 18, I'm, I'm 1878, you know? And um, so we, we're talking about, um, you know, almost over 150 years or something like that. And the reason why I'm doing this video is to show you that this Bible, even though it's 1878, you know, it includes the Apocrypha. <clears throat> to show you that the Apocrypha is, um, is, is, it's biblical. It's part of the Hebrew scriptures. It's part of the Holy Bible, you know? And there's so much information out there you know, that proves that, okay? Now, this is all in the spirit, right? Because I came home one day. It was late from work. You know, that's when I used to work the night shift. And, um, you know, there was some crackheads outside, you know. And um, looked like they ransacked somebody stuff, you know. And um, unfortunately... That's what they did. And, you know, I come out the car and one of them was like, oh, this, hey. And um, called me and I was like, yeah, how you doing? And, um, you know, they remember me, you know, coming out the car, coming from work, you know. A lot of times, you know, I try to speak to them about certain scriptures and, you know, uh, you know, just a little pep talk, nothing, nothing real serious. Just, you know, one of them will say something and, um, I just relate it with a scripture and they'll just be like, yeah, you're right. You're right. You know? So it was like little, little exchanges like that, but it grew to something like, you know, they, they noticed like, and this, this man, he reads the Bible. So... They had this this Bible, you know, and um they was gonna throw it away in the garbage. And um they was like, oh man, this 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 is the right hey, we wanna give it to you. And now even though, you know, the way it happened, you know, I just think everything happens for a reason. This is all spiritual. You know, the Lord wanted me to have this Bible just so I could look through it, read it, study it. 
And also to show you that even in 18, 1878, you know, the Apocrypha was included. This is, this is part of the, um, the Holy Roman Catholic Church. This Bible was, um, as you can see, it's thick. It's old and thick, you know. And I'm going to show you something. It's, it's broken, you know. So right here, this is an Edomite. This is Pope, Pope Leo the Thirteenth. Uh, he was born. He was born in uh, Car Carpinito, maybe in Italy, uh, March second, eighteen ten. And he was elected Pope February the twentieth, uh, eighteen seventy eight. You know, um, so. I was looking through this, man. It was very interesting. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of broken up. Just losing some pages, you know, but I was going through it. And um, it has a dictionary in it. It, has, it does have a dictionary in it. Let me see something. It has, <clears throat> it has a lot of interesting things, man. It has a Bible dictionary in it. Um, it has maps in it. And it has a lot of good information, it has images, you know. Um, and um, I was going through it, you know, I was reading through it. And um, it has images, real good images. Um, it has maps, you know. And um, to show you that um, they had the book of Tobias here, which is the book of Tobit that we read in the Apocrypha, but in, 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 when they published this in 1878, and it was, um, it was, uh, it was, it was, uh, address or, you know, honor to this Pope or whatever, Pope Leo the 13th. Um, this is how it's written, but we, we know, we know the book of Tobit, but this is, it's called the book, the book of Tobias, which was the son of Tobit. Okay, and he was the one that was saying, when you read the book of Tobit, which is a very good story to read, it's a good read for you brothers that's coming into the truth. You know, it shows the power of Yahweh Shem Yahushah. It shows how the angels protect us as well, because there was the angel Raphael that, you know, was guiding him, you know, throughout his journey. You know, so it's a powerful story, man. And we understand that angels are always around us. So it, the Apocrypha is part, has always been part of the Holy Scriptures. It's just, you know, these devils, they have deceived the world and they try to destroy a lot of our information. But <laughs> the Heavenly Father always has a way to preserve the truth no matter what. So that's the time we're living in. Okay, the truth will be. The truth will always win. So we got here called the Book of Tobias, which is part of the Apocrypha, you know. Then it goes to the Book of Job. So it's not in order like your ordinary uh, King James Version, you know what I'm saying, that we have. Um, it's not like that. But from the Book of Job, you keep turning. It's going to go back to Proverbs, uh, no Psalms. Uh, then it goes to uh, Proverbs. I want to, I want to show you, brother, something. It goes to Proverbs. Okay. Then Ecclesiastes, which is um, Solomon. Then after Solomon, <clears throat> it goes to the Psalms of Solomon, which here it will be called the Canticle of Canticles, which is part of the uh, Apocrypha. Now, then it goes to the Wisdom Book. The book is called here the Book of Wisdom, which is the book which we call the wisdom of Solomon. Okay, so here here's a good example. This is a, a, a old ancient, a old eighteen seventy eight old um, Catholic Bible that was published and written. Okay, by Esau, showing you that the apocrypha was part of it, you know, these holy books were part of the holy scriptures, they know this, okay, so, you know, 
you know, Esau has done a lot of trickery. He has deceived a lot of people, but we can see that it's always been part of our holy scriptures, the holy book, the wisdom of Solomon. Then we got Sirach, the book of Ecclesiasticus. Okay. Okay. So here we got a, a book that is over 150 years old. You know, you can see it's broken down and it got the apocrypha in it, man. Okay. Let me clean my lamps. It has the, um, the apocrypha in it. You know, to show you that it always been part of our book. So I thought this was very spiritual, man, that, you know, this book was given to me, you know, and, um, you know, the Lord has all reasons. The scripture goes, um, it's all over the scripture that Lord direct our steps. Man's going is of the Lord and everything happens for a reason. Okay. So once we go, so it's not in order like your ordinary uh, um, 1611 or Bible, but it goes from Sirach to the, to the book of Isaiah, see? And then, um, so man, I just thought I wanted to share that with you brothers. You know, Jeremiah, Isaiah, you know, then it goes into you know, the normal Ezekiel, you know, Daniel, okay? Uh, Hosea, Obadiah, the prophecy, they call it him Abdias, Obadiah, Amos, Habakkuk, the prophecy of Zechariah, the prophecy of Haggai, which here will be called um, uh, Agias, you know, uh, Zechariah, and then we go into the Apocrypha, which is the first book of Maccabees, see? <clears throat> so, they go to, they go to the Apocrypha, which is the ap 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 Apocrypha, Apocrypha just means the Greek word for sent, sent away. Apo means sent, and Crip means hidden. So it's just been sent away, hidden, which, um, just a, just to show you that these devils, <laughs> You can't hide the truth, man. The Lord has a way. Even when they burned down, we go into the history, when they burned down the library in Alexandria, where you had like a multitude of Hebrews living there, you know, they had a lot of our scrolls and information and they tried to burn that down. But the Lord still preserved the truth. You can't, you can't destroy the truth. Just like us now, you know, we out there prophesizing in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And Esau could demonize us. He could, um, you know, try to do everything in his power to make us look bad in front of people. He could try to deceive us and take away information from us. But there's one thing you can't take away is the Holy Spirit. And that Holy Spirit can only be given to the sons of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And in these last days will be what the house of David, which is the Bayah Dawadah, you know. And they're the only ones that's going to be blessed to uh, understand these prophecies and understand uh, history, understand the story that's in the Bible. You know, and Esau can't do that. He can't touch us. He can't. That's something he can't take, he can't grab. And this is why he's pissed off. So, here we go to uh, first book of Maccabees. Then we got the second book of Maccabees. Okay? All right? So, you know, then, um, then this right here is a uh, family record. And they got marriages. Family record marriages, I guess. You know, if you got married, you would put your name here. You know, this is what that is. You know what I mean? Uh, so let me continue. Uh, family record, uh, your births, you got your births, you write your name. The births, you know. <clears throat> so this is interesting. Very intriguing. Um, Okay, and then you got your deaths. 
Get right down who you and your family. Okay. So um this will be uh the uh what this this is a P. This will call this part of this Bible is called the Parables of Our Lord and Savior of Yahweh Shai. You know, this is called the Parables, okay? Of our Lord unfolding and explain. And then it has this guy, Reverend Joseph O'Connor, okay? Um, and the guy here, copyright by John E. Potter and Company, 1885. Okay, so... They know about the Apocrypha. Esau knows, you know. Now, I forgot what um what year, what year the the uh Bible destruction group started uh destroying and taking away these books from the Bible. Alright, so that'll be a good interesting topic to go into. Um I forgot, damn, I would have just calculated it right now. But you know, these are the powers of Yahweh Shai, the sower, the mustard seed, the, pro the prodigal son, which represents the elect today, okay? The Bagyaf Dawadah, when you go deep into that story, because, you know, he, his father accepted him after he uh, went off, which would be us. You know, we went off, the Lord has accepted us back, you know, and now he's been supping with us ever since. So, you know, the elect would be the prodigal son. Okay, so here you got images, um, you know, of the parables, you know, the rich man and Lazarus. We know what that represents, that parable, you know, which is Esau and Israel, you know, the Edomites and the Israelites, the good shepherd, the laborers in the vineyard. The wise man and the foolish versions, which is a good scripture to go into. We always go into that. You know, what's that Matthew? Um, Matthew, in the book of Matthew. Uh, um, so, you know, the talents, you know. Okay, now, the sheep and the goats. <laughs> All right, we all know we know what that is. You know, go to Matthew chapter thirteen. You know, it talks about that and the tears and the wheat. And um, this right here is um, the, behold the Lamb of Yahweh uh, in the New Testament. Then it goes into the New Testament. All right. The period between the Old and New Testament it gives you a story about Persia and um, Judea to punish the Jews. So there's a lot of good information here, you know, that we can go into the Catholic epistles and apocalypse, you know, the epistle James, Peter, uh, Revelation, which they call the apocalypse, all right, the epistle of John for a second, you know, so they just... You know, put it in different order, different names, like, you know, um, for example, I read, I found out that one of the books here called the, uh, starts with a P, you know, I looked it up and it goes in, they called it the, let me see if I can find it, it's in the beginning of this Bible, but it, it but we call it the book of Chronicles, but you're not going to find the book of Chronicles, you're going to find let me go back to it. Um, so, here we go. Here we go. Salakia. So, this is this page is ripped. So, you know, it's good because I've been looking through it for you for this past year. And it's been very interesting. The book of Acts. The epistle of Paul to the Corinthians. Uh, Paul. And the, the apostle Peter, the books of Peter. And then as you can see, a lot of it was ripped up and, you know, broken down. All right. The whole Bible. So that's something I wanted to show you, brothers. All right. You know, through the spirit of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, Shai. 
that um you know the truth is out there and um i wanted to just share that with you brothers man shalom